Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a new video. So in this one, we're actually headed up to my shop, RT Tuning, to get a few things done. My initial reasoning to go up to RT Tuning in the first place was actually to have them look at a rattle. I mentioned this in another video, uh, but there's a little rattle going on around here when the car is just sitting at idle. Uh, most likely, it's one of the fuel lines from the Cobb fuel kit, you know, butting up against the firewall or some type of heat shield. Uh, it's very, very minor. It's something that they'll be able to fix very quickly. Uh, I did poke around a little bit and, and see if I can find anything, but I wasn't able to really see anything that was standing out to me. Um, so I'm just going to have them look at it because they ran all the lines. They know everything about it. So they'll probably be able to figure it out pretty quickly. So that is going to get resolved. Secondly, I wanted them to install the RK Titanium Radiator Pipe. Um, that is the hose that goes right here. Right now, obviously, it's just the stock rubber hose that comes with all STIs. There's no benefit to it other than it looking really, really nice. I came across this piece and I knew I had to have it given all the titanium hardware and everything that I'm running in the car. Uh, so it was definitely something I wanted to put on this one. So they are going to knock out that install as well for me. It's going to be super quick with that. So me being my logical self saying, hey, they're working on the radiator. They're going to be emptying the coolant and they're going to be putting on a new hose. Me being who I am, I like to, if I'm doing a mod, I like to just do everything at once in that area to get it all knocked out. I hate going back and revisiting the same mod to, you know, do all the other stuff that you should have done with that specific mod. So since I'm installing this and I said, wow, they're going to be emptying the coolant, they're going to be putting this new pipe on and everything. Why not just have them install a brand new coil aluminum radiator? Uh, that is something that I always wanted to do uh, just for reliability reasons. And obviously it is something that is going to benefit you if you track the car. Obviously I don't, but it's just one of those things that I want to do just to make sure I'm doing everything possible uh, to keep this car as reliable as possible. So they're going to be installing that. Again, doing a radiator is very, very simple. Something that I personally can handle, no problem. Uh, but since I'm going to be up there, they're just going to knock it out for me. Um, and plus I ordered it through them. So they're going to have it at the shop and do the install for me. So I also did some thinking. I said, okay, this place is, you know, about an hour away from me. It takes some time to plan everything and get an actual appointment and all that. So I said to myself, there is one other thing that I really wanted to do for reliability. And I really wanted to get it done. I hit him up and I said, Hey, can you guys install uh, a killer bee oil pan kit for me as well? Uh, that oil pan kit includes the actual oil pan as well as the oil pickup tube, as well as the baffle. So it's the whole entire oil system down there underneath the block. The stock oil pickup tube, uh, there has been some issues in the past where the actual pickup breaks, um, which causes the engine to starve oil, and then you're gonna have a really bad time. That is more prevalent in the older generation STIs. It's not as common in the newer ones, but it's still something that I wanted to get done just to make sure I'm doing everything possible, doing all the supporting mods and reliability mods to keep this engine happy and healthy. Uh, so they're going to be installing that as well. Uh, I'm also going to be converting over to 5W40. As you guys know, I have been running 5W30 for the entire length uh, ownership of this car, uh, mainly because, you know, I was pretty much running stock power. I wasn't doing anything crazy. Uh, but since bumping up to stage three and running the extra power and everything, I wanted to run a little bit heavier weight oil in the car just to keep the motor a little bit cooler and a little bit happier. Uh, so I am converting over to 5W40. I'm still going to be using Motul as that is my oil and fluid choice for this car. Um, so they are going to be doing that for me as well. They're going to be changing the filter, just basically doing a full oil change, you know, with the whole entire oil pan kit install. So that is all getting done. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to film any of the install, but I'm going to be doing basically what I do with any time I go up to RT. Once I get back home, I'm gonna show you all the details of everything installed as much as that I can. I'm not gonna be able to really show you the oil pan, uh, but I can show you the coil radiator and all that. And I'm going to go over the, all the details, explain everything that was done, and of course, go over the pricing for the parts and the labor and just total cost of everything. So if anybody's interested in getting either one of these mods or both of them done by a shop, it'll be able to give you a good idea of what it costs to get those two things done. But before we head up in the morning, there's one thing I want to knock out. Uh, we just installed the Cobb LF bypass valve um, and I ended up using the stock gasket there. Uh, it's totally fine. There's no leaks or anything like that, but I really wanted to get a higher quality gasket on there since I've been taking this on and off with the TurboSmart um, and you know, the stock one has just, you know, 
it's been used and abused, so I wanted to put a better quality gasket on there. So I ordered a Grim Speed uh, gasket for that. So I'm just going to throw that on, get that knocked out tonight, and then we're going to head up to RT tuning in the morning. So let's get that gasket installed before we leave, uh, and then I will catch back up with you tomorrow morning when I'm headed up to RT tuning. It's just the two bolts on either side. For me, they're 13 millimeter. Uh, for everybody else that's on the stock bypass valve, they're 12 millimeter. Um, simply just remove them and I'm just going to slide the new gasket in. Um, this gasket is two or three times as thick as the OEM one. Um, so I don't have any leaks or anything like that, but anytime I replace anything with a gasket, I like to use Grim Speed um, just because they're so much higher quality and better made. So I'm going to go ahead, replace that real quick, and then we'll move on to the next one. Are back home everything went great everything is perfect really happy with everything that rt did they did a very clean job as usual let's go over quickly in the engine bay exactly what was done just so you get an idea uh, and then we'll go over pricing so the first thing that you can see is right here it is the coil radiator um, that was installed along with the rk titanium radiator pipe right over here um, super super clean i love the look of it i took off my parent shroud that i have been running um, i took that off before i went just so they didn't have to, you know, just something else that they would have to remove to install it. So I took that off for now, but I wanted to keep it off for the video so I can show you the radiator. Um, Cause once I put that shroud back on, it pretty much covers everything. Um, and then over here is the RK titanium radiator pipe. Thing is absolutely beautiful. Adds a nice little touch to the engine bay. It matches the titanium works radiator caps or cap set. Very, very nice. It's the same gradient, same coloring and everything. So it looks really, really good there. They also sorted at the rattle over here, as you can see, um, there's another bushing there. It was actually the fuel pressure regulator. Um, once you remove that from the bracket, the rattle stopped. So they put a little bushing right there to help with the rattle. It's not completely gone, but it's definitely coming from the regulator over here. Uh, it's just that little bracket on the uh, strut tower over there that is causing it. Um, so at least we know what's causing it. I had a feeling it was somewhere around here. Uh, but either way, I'm going to kind of fish around and uh, get that sorted out. Last but not least, can't really see it, but there's a Killer Bee oil pan. That's the stock oil pan in there. Uh, but underneath, we did the Killer Bee oil pan, oil pickup, as well as the baffle. Obviously, I can't show you because it's underneath the motor. So I'd have to get under the car to show you that. Uh, but maybe another day. Obviously, I would have to do an oil change as well in the future. So I'll show it to you then. Uh, but I also converted over to Motul 5W40, as I mentioned. So that is all complete. Filter was changed as well. Um, so everything is set. So I got another 3,000 miles until I do another oil change. Uh, and I will be doing 5W40 this time, as I mentioned. So now that we know everything that was completed and done, let's go over the pricing. This side is all the parts. This side is all the labor. Coil radiator was 372. I had to get some coolant. I had to get two bottles of it, which is 49.98. Kilobee oil pickup kit was 579. Um, Motul, 60 bucks, uh, filter, 699, oil drain gasket, $1.25, and they had to use a brass plug to plug the other hole in the, in the oil pan. The other plug there is if you want to run an oil temp gauge, so I do have the option to run that in the future. 
uh, so they ended up just using a uh, half inch MPT brass plug to plug that up for now. Over here at top, they didn't charge for the rattle, which I expected, which was nice. Um, you know, just trying to source it out. Obviously, as I mentioned, it's not completely solved, but we know where it's coming from. Uh, they installed the RK Titanium radiator pipe, 119 bucks. Installing the radiator, $129. Installing the Killaby oil pan, $451. Just a few other fees, 38 bucks, as well as $1.85. And then here we go. Here is the grand total. Labor was $699. Parts was $1,118.04. Sublet, $38. Dollars and fifty three cents hazmat dollar eighty five total eighteen fifty eight plus tax one oh seven came out to nineteen sixty five fifty five so yes you can save that seven hundred dollars or so uh, on labor if you were to do it yourself obviously for me it's more of a convenience thing I was able to bring my car to RT tuning uh, yesterday they got it done and I drove it home and I'm done. Um, I didn't have to get my hands dirty. I don't have to spend an entire weekend away from my family getting all this done. While it is fun to install stuff on my own, sometimes just the pure convenience of it, um, for me, it's worth that price. Now, obviously you can save that money as I mentioned, and you just have to pay for parts and all that. So 1100 bucks for two reliability mods is really not that bad. Um, I really suggest doing the radiator as well as the oil pan kit. These two reliability mods are very important. Um, obviously, as I mentioned, the radiator is more for track use if you're really revving out the car and driving it hard in hot weather. Uh, but I still suggest doing it for $379. Honestly, it is something that um, I think a lot of people can do. It's very reasonable. It's a very easy job. It's simply just popping it out and popping no one in and filling it back up. The oil pan kit, as I mentioned earlier, it's more prevalent in older generations, but um, I still think it's something that you should do as well, just to preemptively keep everything happy, making sure nothing happens. Killer Bee is a very, very high quality brand. I'm running their headers as well. And their oil pan kit is definitely worth the investment. Again, I think it was like 571 bucks, I said. Definitely, definitely worth it. I've heard it's a pain in the butt to install yourself, um, but even so, I still think it's worth it to get done. Um, so top four reliability mods I recommend is a radiator, oil pan kit, uh, AOS, as well as a cylinder for cooling mod. And if you want to go a little crazy, you can do the equal length headers like I did um, just to keep as much heat out of the engine bay as possible. So that is all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Huge shout out to RT Tuning. Again, they did a fantastic job. Everything was perfect. I didn't get the car back in terrible condition. It came back exactly how I left it in dirty condition. I've been driving it in the rain, so it's a little, little dirty. I got to wash it this weekend. Very, very happy once again. I'm really glad this is all complete. So now I can move on to whatever it is that I need to move on to next. But all the reliability mods, all the performance mods that I wanted to do to this car is complete. Um, and uh, it's like a kind of a weight off my shoulders. It's something that I've wanted to get done for a while. And now it's all done. And now I don't have to stress about it or worry about it. So if you guys have any questions at all, be sure to ask them below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you in the next one. So real quick before I end this video, uh, I just wanted to kind of note the temperature change that I'm noticing in the overall coolant system. Uh, right now I'm at 178. It was hovering around 174. Normally I'm at about 185. So I'm seeing about a five to 10 uh, degree drop, which is fantastic. I'm just driving on the street. So something I'm noticing right away just with the coil radiator.